Introverts are a special category of people who exhibit an introverted personality. They are people who do not express their emotions a lot and are conservative in nature. Introverts are usually reflective, creative, and very observant. According to PsychGo, the challenge is actually knowing when you've pitched an introvert off. As many of you probably know from experience, introverts like to play their cards very close to their chest. You may have made an enemy for life in an introvert and have no idea for years. The trouble is that introverts are usually so quiet. So how do you tell when they're actually mad at you? What if your girlfriend is introverted? How do you know if you're in trouble? How do you know she doesn't like something and stop it before it pisses her off? In today's video, I'm going to share with you 10 ways to tell if an introvert is mad at you. If you're new here, subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos such as this one. 1. They keep silent. Introverts are not the speaking type. They usually prefer to observe events and think about them than to speak. If an introvert is speaking to you, it means they're interested in you. You need to be careful when they eventually start keeping to themselves, because introverts process anger differently. They may just calmly decline to speak with you and walk away instead of an outburst. This is a clear sign that you may no longer have their trust. Introverts actually spend time before they open up to people. They are therefore especially vulnerable to people who they call their friends. An average introvert is also unlikely to react to something immediately. It may have taken at least two hurtful things for them to get this way. If you are friends with an introvert, be careful what you say. If you offend them, they may not tell you. 2. They may resort to crying. This is actually not something you want to watch. If you piss them off enough, they may resort to crying. This is not a sign of weakness, but that of strength. They cry to be able to get over the hurt. During this period, they may also avoid you. Let them be. If you break an introvert's heart, they may avoid you for a long time. Like I said earlier, don't speak much. They will therefore be unable to express how they feel, even if they feel comfortable expressing themselves. 3. They may offer one-word responses. According to PsychGo, introverts sometimes don't show anger in the ways you would expect, especially if you're looking at the world through the perspective of an extrovert. When an introvert is speech stuff, they may also offer one-word responses to questions from you. Don't push it. There is no need to be rude. If you know what you did wrong, try apologizing. But then, if you don't know what you did wrong, simply still apologize. It could go a long way in salvaging your relationship. Be patient with your friend. Don't get frustrated. It isn't easy dealing with people who don't talk much because they leave you guessing what may actually be wrong with them. With extroverted people, it is easier. They get angry very easily and forget it just as fast. They also make their displeasure over an issue very clear. There is no ambiguity about it. They may even make a scene if care is not taking, but this is actually better because they can't hide the fact that they are unhappy. With introverts, even figuring out itself is hard work. When you eventually find out, the introvert may still not even say why. 4. They pretend they are fine. The funny thing about introverts is that they can pretend that everything is fine when it's not. Watch your introvert friend closely. Do they seem to talk a bit faster or a bit slower than before? Do they smile at odd times and seem to really be looking forward to ending the conversation? When they start to act in this manner, just know something is up. What you can do at this time is to try talking to them. If they are still mad though, they may not open up. You also can't and shouldn't force people to share. If you keep being around them, they will come around. Leaving them to their device is a mistake. They may not forget what you did, even if you don't know exactly what it is. The best way to avoid all this, of course, is to not piss them off. But then, you may not even know what pisses them off or not. 5. They don't return your calls. Normally, people who are pissed with people don't return their calls. With introverts, it is there as well. Perhaps laying off calling for a while is preferable. Your calling them will only make them sadder. If they do pick, they will likely not say much, and it will hurt them because they think it hurts you. Introverts are very sensitive and should be treated with delicate care. Extroverts usually don't stay angry for long and will likely return your calls when you call them. Find out where your friend likes hanging out and pay them a visit. For an introvert, it is best to just be there without speaking. They can actually tell if you're sorry or not. If you are dating the person, you can hold their hands and maybe pull them close. Don't say a word. Actions to speak louder than words for introverts. Buying a flower and sending it to your introvert girlfriend will probably have more value than sending a voice note. Sending her favorite chocolate and sending a sweet note every morning before she heads for work can go a long way. 6. They may blow up over small things. If you are constantly annoying the person, the next thing that will probably result is anger. Anger for introverts builds up because they don't express it immediately. 
Imagine calmly looking away from issues that annoy you for a long time. Everyone has a breaking point. There is a limit to which you can push someone without getting a response. No one sets out hoping to hurt anyone, but you should be careful. You don't want someone screaming over you in public, over something that you thought was very small. Their anger literally seems to come out of nowhere and can be a bit confusing. Extroverts, on the other hand, are pretty clear about things that annoy them. They can get angry real quick, but it is usually short-lived. They are jovial and cheerful people who can't wait to move to the next conversation. Their emotions can sometimes appear fleeting at best. 7. They can refuse help. Introverts usually love working alone, but they also work well with others. They also usually accept help from others. If they suddenly refuse help, this is a clear sign that they may be mad at you. If you have money in a situation and can help them prevent being ejected from their homes, they can refuse your help and prefer to go back to their parents. They may even reject help from your friends too, if they feel you may have set it up. Well, you can't force people to accept your help, but what you can do is give them some space. Sometimes people need space to heal. They need to get used to what has happened to them and choose to live with it. If you interfere with the process, they may not heal completely. Sometimes the best thing to do is nothing. 8. They focus more on work. When an introvert starts telling you that they have a lot of work to do, you should be worried. People generally have a lot of work to do. They, however, make time for whoever they deem important. If they don't make time for you, you are just not important. If they were busy and still used to making out time for you, the only way it stops happening is when they have a problem with you. Introverts typically don't talk about their issues, so asking directly is a bad idea. Trying to get them to talk can also be a waste of time. Sometimes the best thing to do is to let them work it out for a while before trying to talk to them again. Letting go of hurt is hard work. Everyone deserves a break. 9. They may talk to you via text or email. A clear sign that an introvert may be mad at you is when they start talking to you only via email or text. It is crazy. Who talks to their friends that aren't distant through emails? This may also be a clear message that you have become distant. Some may expressly tell you not to come to their rooms at all. Some of those may even not reply to your email for weeks. It will sometimes seem as though the friendship dies a natural death. You need to come to terms with the reality and not try to force things back to the old one. Everyone makes mistakes. What you do next makes all the difference. What will you do next? 10. They want to be alone. Ultimately, every introvert who speaks stuff about something wants to be alone. Whether or not they succeed is another issue entirely. They may want to revert back to the status quo, how they were before they met you, so as to counter the memories being with you has brought them. Try to be understanding. You probably hurt them more than you can imagine. Since introverts usually don't react to one of hurts, it must have taken a while of your hurting them consistently for them to decide that they were not going to deal with you anymore.